we have uh, Chad from the Two Man Power Trip. Give me the beginning. Give me the give me the start. How did you? Uh, I guess hear about wrestling with reality or John or did he reach out to you or I know those guys are fans of your shows so I, I really had no idea who this guy was I, I had no idea who John Wangelin was until he emailed me asking me to go on inspired with Christopher as a favor to him he said you know Chris Martin is a, is a big fan of you you guys and you know you, you help them get through some tough times would you go mind going on the show in the middle of it it was also hey, I'm starting up these podcasts with Dan Severn and Vampiro. We would love to have them be on Two Man Power Trip. He said, oh, I'm going to be in Virginia because... Because I am going out this week to go to an MMA show with Dan, to an MMA show with Dan, to an MMA show with Dan. Hey there, man. We're going to do conventions. I'm going to host an MMA show. I'm going to walk a fucking rash into the ring. Do you have any equipment? Are you going to record anything with him here? And he was like, well, no, I'm just coming Pause back. Pause one second, one second, one second. You asked John Wangland if he had equipment. <laughs> now, this guy is notorious for not having any kind of podcast yeah. equipment ever, even though his name is Johnny Podcasting. Describe to me the first meeting. Like, do they, when they lock eyes, they're walking towards each other, do they shake hands? Do they bro hug? <laughs> it's tap on the shoulder. Hey, Dan, I'm John. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to provide a little bit of clarity to the uh, to the timeline because he did drive like 15 hours from vacation to go to this show. He was there for less than an hour. He tapped Dan Severn on the shoulder to meet him and introduce him as, hey, I'm your podcast partner. How you doing? Hey, <laughs> so when you guys walk out the building, is he on cloud nine? Is he hopeful or is he kind of dejected? Because it sounds to me like I would walk out of there being like, oh, shit, this is not going to last. Not like, the opportunity. What, what's his mindset? Um, there's no way you can walk out of that and feel any bit of confidence. Mm -hmm.